Hello and welcome back to Odd Sparks. And uh, last time we set up a nice ether residue production facility and I've got 11 ether residue here to collect. We collect it here by the monument. There's a little output here where it uh, drops it off. It is slow to produce. So I don't have very much. I've got 12 right now. Let's see if we can buy with it a pond. Uh, the plushies don't cost any residue. That's good. It just costs regular um, materials I can find. Well, let's see. Clock tower. Well, we need a spark showcase drinks table. Obviously. A pond. And a lantern? Couple of fences, maybe? What kind of fence style do I like? I like the forest fence. Do I... Oh, this is just to unlock them? Okay, so I'm not buying them. I can't buy more of them. I'm just unlocking them. So how do I build them? Interesting. Well, that's good. I don't have to... buy multiples of them then. Um, what else do we want? A forest bench, obviously. Plant. And another plant. Decorations. Okay, I think I have to go outside to build this stuff. Let's see. There's nothing in decorations. Logistics and storage, no. Logic, no. The building is not yet unlocked. Hmm. Okay, there's the there's the decorations. It's showing the cost. How do I actually build it? It's not showing up here at all. Maybe I have to progress the Okay, now it's showing up. Oh, that's strange. Maybe a bug. Okay, we can't build in here. Where do I build my house? Right here? Let's see. In the middle, we gotta have the spark showcase. Couple of benches. Oh, 
Oh, I want to make my pond. I need uh, stone. Do I have stone in here? Yeah, I need some more stone. Bust those rocks open. There we go. Okay. I'm not going to spend too much time on this. Oh good, I can walk over the fences. That's good. There we go. We got two benches overlooking the pond there. Can we sit? I can. Okay, now here we gotta have a couple of different sparks. Choppy spark. Lomi spark. There we go. They're just chilling, relaxing. Having some drinks. We need a lantern. Quartz. Uh, let's grab some timber. timber what else do we got plants do I have any fertilizer in here uh, I don't know nah, I think I spent it all Okay, well, we can't make put plant plots down. Okay, well, that's interesting. Well, I like that I'm paying residue to unlock these things. Then I can just use regular uh, building materials to build them. That's nice. Because the residue, the aether residue, is uh, kind of a pain in the butt to get, really. Okay. Well. We'll collect more residue, unlock more things, and then expand our little uh, guard in there. But first, I guess we could do this quest real quick. Path add-ons. Uh, we just need to build another elevator. That's all, I, all we gotta do. How do we build an elevator? Okay, we need plates. Should be some up here I can borrow. Yeah, I'll get two stacks there. All we gotta do is build it. We don't actually have to send anything up or down. Huh. Kind of weird that the elevator is only one way. I guess he used the zip lines to go down from an elevated position, but. Kind of weird the elevators wouldn't be used for both of those. Okay. Let's head to the quartermaster. And we got a lot of quests to get. So we got to start talking to people. Hiya. Okay, this will get me a weight gate, spark filter, and a mount filter. Yeah. Good work. Sparks understand more than I thought. The woodsman will say 
Me, he told me so. Got another quest for me? A lot of people have asked for, for more storage, huh? I'd like more storage. I have an idea. Something you can build on your production line, and the items will find the villager it belongs to. It's magic. Delivery chest. Ooh, yeah, these are good. Deliver quartz and etheric pallet. I can do that. I worked with the divine researcher on this one. He talks a lot. I can do that right now, I think. Uh, we need 40 quartz. I've got that. Thank you for helping us. We've worked together to make something useful for everyone. Always a good feeling. Nice. Delivery chests are magical storage containers for the villagers. Build them to give items directly from your base and to expand that villager's storage capacity. Yeah, because I think eventually they're going to request more than they can hold in their storage here. All right, you got another quest for me? You're working with a lot of material now. You can't carry all of it around with you. Let's make you a supply chest. I need a dowsing stone etheric clump. Yeah. Okay. It's like a delivery chest, but it supplies stuff to you. I'm sure the divine researcher will enjoy trying to figure this one out too. That sounds pretty good. I like that. All right. We got to get you scouty sparks, wooden panels... Quartz. All right, we can't do that right now. Um, do you have a quest for me, Woodsman? Uh, you don't, not right now. What about you, Divine Researcher? Come here, my friend. I've got an exciting find to share with you. I found my mountain exploration notes. There are two more spark shrines waiting for us. They're in rough shape. I can see that I'll need quite a lot of materials to test out the new recipes, even more than what I can store here. Could you ask the quartermaster to make something for me for more storage? For science. Done and done. Okay, so... We gotta deliver a whole bunch of sparks. Oh, these notes bring back memories. I had a very exciting time in the mountains, let me tell you. Unfortunately, all that climbing became too much on these on these old bones. Okay. Uh, hauling spark, we don't have that. Scouty spark, don't have that. Rocky spark, you need 180 of those. And 120 carry sparks. Okay. So we're going to have to ramp up production of rocky sparks. I'd like to make the scientist home a little nicer. She seems to need a lot of space for these logic thingies she's building. She's been fitting in quite well, although maybe it's our village that just that is just used to unusual people with great expertise. Uh, you want to expand the village to do that? We need quartz, limestone, fertilizer. Ah. She actually prepared some plans for the new area herself. She knows best what she needs. Quartz, limestone, and fertilizer. No problem. All right, the Mason sisters, what's up? We spoke to the woodsman not too long ago because he was really interested in what Sparks are crafting from stone. He helped us think of, think of ways Sparks could build even cooler things from stone that they do now, and we want to try them out. We're going to need... She's very excited. Uh, we're going to need a lot of stuff to upgrade the stone workshop this time, though. Seems like you're going to need more storage for that first. Sorry. It's okay. Way ahead of you. Oh, this will give us uh, the ability to make dowsing stones, path tiles. Okay, you need pebbles and stone plates. Got it. <laughs> you may not think it, but I can tell the woodsman also thinks that sparks are super cute. Don't tell him I said that. Pebbles and stone plates.
Well, that gives me a good opportunity to try out these delivery chests. Mason sisters. Yep. Okay. I can build that. How do I build... Stone cutters. I need more stone. Okay. Now, the two sparks that I need to find next... Scouty Spark and Hauling Spark. Those are next on my list. Now, one of them's up here. Scouty Spark's up here. That's Crashy Spark. I don't know what that is. That's a Boomy Spark. So I haven't found the other Spark Shrine that I need. I'm going to have to explore some more. I want to find that Hauling Spark. Uh, but first, let's go... Deliver stone to the Mason sisters. Oh, hold up, hold up. Uh, let's pick up some more sparks here. I need hauling sparks. I like to have a bunch on me. But uh, now I'm kind of... My supply is so low. I've got four. I've got four on me. Alright, where are the hauling sparks? Right over here. Top up on plates. Crafty sparks. I don't think I need those. Um, okay, yeah, let's just grab... 30 hauling sparks. Uh, we're not making crafty sparks. Is that because we ran out? That's because we ran out of... Ether shards. Okay, let's get some more in there. I'll resupply that later. Alright, let's go back. Here's my weird little limestone setup. We Ancient block container. Well, let's unblock it. There we go. Okay. So we've already got... Stone plates being made here. They're just being taken and placed in here. That's cool. Now... Okay, let's move this. Okay, we're going to try out this Mason Sisters delivery chest. We're going to put you... Right here. Okay. 
Okay. Let's get a carry spark. We really only need one. Now... Huh. Are these... If I build more of these, are they going to be shared? Are they going to share their... Storage? Let's see. No, they don't. Okay. That's not what I was expecting. Um... I'm just thinking if I want to store pebbles in here as well. But eventually it's going to fill up. What I would want is for it to store stone plates until they don't need any more. Like store 200 and that's it. Move all items from this inventory to the other. What does that mean? Oh, take them all basically. I see. Okay, I think what I might want to do... Is have another... A separate delivery chest for... Pebbles. Um, actually... This might be a good opportunity to try, um... Counters. Okay, we'll try that. Hold on. Let's... First, we need a stone cutter. We don't have stone. But... Plenty of stone up here. Okay. And then... Okay. Now, let's say we want to transfer only 200 pebbles from here to here, and then... Stop that. Um, and then stop after that. Uh, let's get rid of this. Let's move this over by one. Lo go to logic here. Uh, amount filter. Let's see. We've never played with this yet. If placed on a path, sparks can only pass the sign if they are carrying the exact number of items the number on the sign says. Okay, that's uh, not what I want. Okay, the counter is what I want. But we're going to have to combine that with something else. That only counts uh, the amount of times that a spark or the items passing by from one direction. So it counts the items, but to actually use that, how would I use that? Basically, once this is over 200... I would want it to, um, stop transferring.
Yeah, this by the counter by itself is not very useful. You're gonna have to play around with the logic a bit. You might have to unlock more stuff here. I can't build it now anyway. I need I used up all my my plates. Let's get more plates. Didn't I top up on plates? I guess I used them all. I really would like a larger personal storage. Well, let's just put down the item filter and then see what happens. Maybe we can select it and... It'll give me some options. Item counter. I think we want it to go this way. Tracked items. Okay. Okay, having this one-way thing here is nonsense. I just want to connect it. Because that, that doesn't do anything. Alright, yeah, I'm going to have to... Um, play around with the logic stuff a bit more. Some of this, uh, with what I've got unlocked right now, just doesn't seem very useful at all. Unless I can hook it up to other things. Yeah, there's more stuff to unlock. Logic gates and all of that. I need to unlock all of this. Okay, so what I'm going to do for right now is just... Put a carry spark there. And in here... We're going to put a couple crafty sparks. There we go. That's going to make me 5.6 per minute. I mean, it's not very quick. But we'll get there eventually. We're going to get that 200 eventually. In the meantime, is there anything else? Well, I suppose I should check... We should go up to the Scouty Spark Shrine. Let's do that. I need to see what these Scouty Park Sparks cost. Or does it show here? I gotta get up there.
That's what ladders are for. Okay, is there a leaf blower? There we go. We can use to get across. There we go. Scouty Spark Shrine. All right. With a touch, the bigger shrine wears to life and checks that everything is still working. You ready yourself one, of course. The shrine spits out a rather strange creature into the air. The shrine registers that the Scouty Spark has been immediately activated as part of the test. Oh, he flies around. I mean, he looks like a flying fish spark the scouty spark looks at the horizon as it floats above the ground ready and eager to receive instructions however before anything can be done with a puff of magic the spark turns into a stone disc you place it in your bag and with the deactivation successful the shrine states that it is now fully operational and is ready to be assigned sparks you've got good defense no offense a one-use special spark that travels toward the direction it's thrown at and reveals the area it travels through. It's so tempting to just use that right now. To find the, um... falling spark. Oh. I forgot. What, are the, what does it take to make these? Stumpy and dowsing stone, okay. Oxus corals. Okay, we're just exploring now, trying to find this other spark one thing I have to do is automate these rocky sparks um, which I think are pretty easy they're just uh... oh, oh dear not you no 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 you're a rock disguised as or you're a you're a giant angry bird disguised as a rock. Um, okay, I don't want to fight that thing yet. Crashy spark. Hmm. Back in the forest. Am I at the end of the world? I remember in the demo, the world kind of just cut off here. It does. Well, he can go off into oblivion. I'm not stepping out there. It looks dangerous. Alright, it's just a patch of uh, forest or plains or whatever that biome is. Okay. Well, um... I guess the next thing we can do... I mean, we'll have to explore and find that that other uh, spark. I've got the scouty spark, but I need the hauling spark to upgrade the machine range. Hmm. Yeah, I want to explore and look for that hauling spark. 
But, um... In the meantime, I should probably start on automating... Rocky Sparks. We need 180 of them. Pin that to the screen. And, uh, yeah, these are just stumpy sparks and stone. Now, the question is, can I make them in spark workstations? Okay, so I don't need to make them here. I can make my own workstation down here. I'll have to deliver stone there, but that's fine. But, uh, yeah, I think we can make the rocky sparks down here. All right, that'll be good. Yeah, that'll be something we'll work on next time. And uh, in the meantime, we'll see if we can get 200 uh, pebbles here and finish this uh, stone crafting quest next time. We're almost halfway there. So, uh, it's not, it doesn't take too long once you get the process started. Alright, thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.